Boker Tov Chabrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here on December 17th, 2016. Uh, we have breaking news coming out of the Middle East there, out of Aleppo City. Actually, this broke yesterday. I just did not catch it earlier. It's not been on mainstream media anywhere, uh, that including uh, RT, etc. But U.S. 14 U.S.-led coalition military advisors were captured by Syria special forces in Aleppo. Now, what's kind of ironic about this is the last time there was uh, special force uh, units there inside of Aleppo is when Russia sent in a cruise missile off of, out of the Mediterranean there off the coast of Syria, which actually struck and killed a large number of them in a bunker underneath the uh, ground there. This time, though, the Syrian special forces actually captured them. And according to the article right here, and, and quoting from, they were quoting from 21st Century Wire, where Fars uh, Shahabi, a prominent Syrian parliament uh, uh, head of the Chamber of Commerce there, actually stated and published on his Facebook page the names of those that were involved uh, that, that were involved uh, in this uh, group of uh, advisors to the rebels there in that area there. And uh, we can see that the Saudis, the Turks, uh, the Jordanians, uh, Qatar, Moroccan, uh, even Israel and the USA are among the names that are listed on there. David Scott Weiner and uh, David Shlomo Aram both listed as uh, these opt officers there that were, that were working with the rebel forces inside of uh, Aleppo there in an underground bunker there no doubt directing the activities that are going on the thing is is why do we have Israel and the United States with advisors on the ground inside of Syria in eastern Aleppo in the first place there um, no doubt an embarrassment for the uh, the United States as well as for Israel uh, and, and, and quite a shame, in my opinion, that Israel is actually working along with these terrorist organizations inside of Aleppo. But nonetheless, it still is something that is happening. It is a very serious situation there. Only curious to see how things are going to uh, proceed from there. And of course, if they're in Aleppo, where else do they have these type coalitions uh, running the operations from underground in these different areas there. Are we going to find it in other part of the countries as well as time moves on? Or will there be an escalation of the war from uh, U.S. coalition, uh, U.S.-led coalitions there in the region? It doesn't look like that uh, the Saudis want this war to go away. They have the largest number there. And, of course, Turkey is represented there as well. I know if I was uh, Russia right about now, I would have absolutely no trust for Turkey any longer, and I would evict them out of the country. Uh, but we'll just have to see where that actually heads to. Anyway, moving on into other news. All News Pipeline uh, producing an article, and I saw where um, um, uh, Brother Paul Begley was reporting as well on earthquakes yesterday in a video that he did. But uh, um, actually, I went to look to see if he had reported on anything like this as of yet. This came out today. Earth has shifted. Uh, uh, an Inuit elder warning comes back to haunt us as something big is happening along the ring of fire. Now, this here, you got to keep in mind, this is a little bit different here. We already know uh, BP Earthwatch, Jesse there on BP Earthwatch there, uh, does very extensive uh, look at the ring of fire, things like that, the earthquakes that are happening uh, all around the world there. But in this particular article here, we're talking about uh, the, the Arctic region here. Let, well, let me just kind of read some of it to you. On December, in December 2014, the Inuit elders issued a warning to NASA. This was back two years ago. Uh, and the world, a warning that could, um, that, that could very well explain the extreme weather and increasing activity being seen on the ring of fire today as yet another large magnitude 7.9 earthquake Subsequent tsunami warning, which that was uh, dropped, hits Papua New Guinea just this morning. Uh, that was yesterday morning, in fact. Papua New Guinea sits on the Pacific Ocean's ring of fire. And just uh, quickly, let me show you there. Here we have right here, you got your ring of fire here on your screen here. Notice down there around Papua New Guinea there where all these earthquakes have happened. It looks like we just had another earthquake right here. Yes, we just had a 5 point seven magnitude earthquake earthquake uh, Nugala 
uh, Micronesia. This is actually something that uh, is, let's see, 2016. All right, it, w it was actually, um, gosh, goodness gracious me. Oh, the 18th. I must be a day behind. Did I say the 17th? Okay, the 18th. So this one has just happened uh, since I actually began the news broadcast because I opened this up just moments ago. We did not have this earthquake here as of yet uh, because I was looking at the different earthquakes. But, of course, going back here to, to Papua New Guinea here, look at all the earthquakes in that region of the world. It is unreal, the things that were happening there. Um, just you know unbelievable number of earthquakes you can look at the dates on the screen there etc but anyway let's go back real quick here um, to uh, the article here anyway they're saying here in the article that the Inuits are ind indigenous people that inhabit the Arctic regions of Canada the United States and Greenland and throughout the history their very lives have been dependent on, on being able to correctly forecast weather, and they are warning NASA and the world that global warming isn't caused of what we are seeing with extreme weathers and earthquakes and other events. The Earth has shifted according to what they're stating here. And this, they stated this two years ago, but they're bringing it out in the article now on All News Pipeline. says that uh, uh, in, a, in an article titled, as they put it, what, excuse me, the Earth has shifted, uh, tilted, or as they put it, wobbled the North, and they are all agree their sky has changed. The elders maintain the sun doesn't rise uh, where it used to. They have longer days, light to hunt, and sun is higher than, the, than it used to be and warms up quicker than before. The elders were interviewed across the North, all said the same thing. Their sky has changed. The stars at the sun, um, uh, the moon have all changed, affecting the temperature, even affecting the way wind blows. It's becoming increasingly harder to predict the weather, something that must uh, that is a must on the Arctic. The elders all agree they believe Earth has shifted, wobbled, or tilted. Now, do you remember the, 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 the biblical passage, in fact, that states that the earth would stagger like a, like a drunkard, you know? And we are seeing the evidence of this even according to the, uh, the indigenous people there in the uh, Arctic there uh, on the top of Canada. As we would say Eskimos, I guess, today, they are actually reporting this. And, you know, it, it's amazing to see. They, they actually write in this here, I believe this is, all right, that's the seismograph they're showing there. I wanted to show you, here we go right here. This is um, where they're actually talking about these things here. Now, it's not in English here, um, but they say here, we had, we had to arrive daylight in order. We had an hour of daylight. Um, today, we have two-hour window to shoot. Um, it goes on to say here, this change is noticeable. The daylight is a lot higher on the horizon. I don't know everything, but I really notice and observe changes occurring in the atmosphere. Okay? He says, I've lived here all my life. I've also watched the sun. Where, where it rises and not changed much, but this sunrise has shifted way over. Perhaps the earth has tilted on its axis, is what he's saying here in the article. And you can check on this. We'll put these in the description below for you to be able to see these things for yourself. Um, but there again, let me just see if I can pull up, you know, the earth will, I think the word actually is used, wobble. Let me just see if we can find this real quick. Uh, like a drunkard there, let's see. Uh, if I can just find it. Uh, mm. Maybe it's 
like a drunkard here. There, yeah, the, here we go, right here. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 20. The earth shall reel and to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. You know, guys, this is very serious. Let's just look at the verses right there before and after. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth and they shall be gathered together as prisoners, as gathered in a pit, and shall be shut up in a prison, and after many days shall they be visited. The moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, and the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously. You know, it's interesting how they, they hide themselves away, or they're put like prisoners or gathered in a pit. That's what they're going to do. You know, they're talking about Nibiru coming in, and this is what all these leaders of the world are doing right now. They have made themselves preparations to go hide inside of the earth, but it's, gonna, it's a bit too late, don't you think? Mr. Kerry, Mr. Obama, uh, Mr. Putin, different leaders, Mr. Xi, around the world, all these different leaders... Right down even to Mr. Uh, well, Mr. Abbas, I, I doubt they would even let you go down there. I mean, you know, I don't even know if you even know what's going on, but this is what's happening. They're getting ready to go hide down in the earth because the earth is wobbling like a drunkard. And the Eskimos are starting to notice. They've noticed it now for two years. Where are we at then? You know... Brother Paul, when I was listening to his video, he talked about these, these waves of energy that are coming in. You know, there's some research that has been done, and I don't have that in front of me right now, but there are waves of energy that are coming in that could wake up your DNA that's asleep. That's something the elite is very worried about. They don't want the children of God to truly wake up to who they are. They will do exploits. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.